Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I haven't made a video in a long time and I really miss you guys and today I'm going to read from my board of shame which is this thing which is all just scandal quotes which I have not finished there's still space to watch to write more but I thought I would share a couple of them and tell you why they were my favorites. So here we go. One of my favorite quotes was from Olivia when she says, I lie in bed every night and I play our relationship over and over again like a movie. We meet, we fall in love, we can't stop ourselves, we're meant to be. I give up everything inside of me and then it just stops. The movie just stops. I don't know how it ends. It's just me waiting for a house in Vermont I can't live in and a man who makes promises he can't keep. When Olivia said that, it was one of, it was so sad because it's true. She loves Fitz, but they can't be together because of his presidency. Um, he's running for re-election, and he needs Melly. He needs his wife. But Olivia wants him, and he wants her, but they can't ever make it work. They can't have each other, and it's driving her crazy. And so she tries to go out and find that thing that she needs and it's just one of my favorite quotes from the show because um and for the way Carrie Washington delivered that line it was just amazing and I loved it um so favorite quote number two would have to be my bad I hit the pause button <laughs> my other favorite quote was from Cyrus quite a few of them from Cyrus because that guy is amazing and I love him but uh it's talking about murder in the White House in front of the president. It's like talking about sex in the Vatican in front of the Pope. We don't do it. Um, yeah, they kill a lot of people on the show. And um, you should not talk about murder openly, especially in front of the president. Especially if he hates you, because then he will just either have you murdered or... See, but then he'd be a murderer. I mean, he is a murderer. For those of you who don't know, Fitz is a killer like he's killed before um and not like in the navy or anything like no he killed verna the uh old lady who was, was she the supreme court justice i think is what she was um yeah for the whole defiance thing when she was gonna tell david everything like he took her oxygen mask off and she basically suffocated and died yeah he's not a good person another one which is between olivia and cyrus would be Olivia's telling Cyrus, I'm apolitical, you know that. And then Cyrus, his response is, is your vagina apolitical? I mean, seriously though. Can she not? <laughs> it's funny. Um, that's what. That's one of the scenes where you have to watch the episode. Like, you have to watch the show to get it. But if you're a fan and you're watching this video and you hear that quote, you'll probably know and think it's funny. Um, if not, I'm so sorry. <laughs> but... I mean, you should have known by the title of this video that this was just going to be scandal crap and trash because I'm total scandal trash right now and this is all I'm obsessed with. Now, quote number four um, is from Verna and she's talking to Olivia and she, she says, you try so hard to get that man to walk away from you. Have you ever stopped to consider how hard, painful it's going to be if you succeed? If he is going... Or if he actually does walk away. No, Verna, she doesn't. Because when he does walk away, who's the bitch sitting there crying all upset? Olivia. And then she's like, oh, Fitz, I want you back. Seriously? That's one of the things. I, Good drama. Good show. I love it. But seriously? Come on, man. Come on, Olivia. Um, but that line is one of my favorites. Because... Um, it's true. Olivia didn't realize how hard it would be. Fitz has always been there. And she he always has been fighting for her and always has been like, Olivia, I love you. I need you. I will divorce my wife from you for you. Just let me love you and be with you. And she keeps telling him no. And she pushes him away and keeps him at arm's distance. Um, and Verna tells her, you know, the whole you breathe in sync. And that's another one that I'm just going to add on. It's going to be four B. It's when she says, Liv, I see, I've see, i seen you two together. You breathe in sync. And it's true. Fitz and Olivia together is like, it's just so 
passionate and it's just wrong because you know that's his mistress he's having an affair and he's in love with another woman that is not his wife but he's so in love with her and she's so in love with him that it's just that's how it is like other people can see how much they like belong together except for obviously Fitz and Olivia because they keep breaking up and getting back together and breaking up and then it's over and everyone's sad but it's an up and down battle with those two okay my last favorite quote is from Fitz and the back to this this is when um Olivia is with Jake and after she sleeps with him she finds the um the monitors in his how in his apartment watching her apartment because she's watching her for Fitz um and there's this whole thing where um Olivia is now in the hospital because she hits her head and Jake rushes her there but Fitz comes and shuts down the entire floor because he's the president and he is talking to Olivia and she's telling him basically to get out because this was after defiance so he told her that they were done he didn't want anything to do with her anymore um because she stopped believing in him and he was really upset um and so this is what he tells her, and he says, This past year, I have learned only one thing. I cannot exist without you. That I cannot breathe without you. That the man I am without you is I'm nothing. I'm nothing, and you are everything. And I need you to give me another chance. I demand another chance. We're worth a second chance. That fits got game after that like I seriously was like screaming at my tv going oh my god just kiss him already because that whole scene was so emotional she was upset and he was you know telling her he basically did not feel good enough because they had to rig an election for him to win and he she was he ex basically said he expected it from everybody else from Hollis from Verna from Cyrus and his wife but he never expected it from Olivia because she he thought that she saw him and for who he was and that he didn't need fixing and that he was upset that he th she thought he she needed to fix him um, because that's what she does she fixes and he did not want to be fixed by her he just wanted to be with her and he wanted her to see him for who he really was so that goes down as the number one for this video um so yeah there's that little thing and um i will probably read a couple more in the next video because i have a crap ton more but yeah um scandal returns february 11th and i'm super excited and i hope all of you scandal fans watch it all you gladiators out there watch it it's gonna be amazing hands down gonna be one hell of a ride from here on out um because the stakes are higher new candidates are coming in melly's gonna run for president i just seriously come on i know it and if she becomes president that'd be freaking awesome i'd vote for her i'm just saying so thank you for watching this video i hope you liked it um now i gotta let my cats back into the room before they attack my door and knock it over themselves thank you for watching and remember keep dreaming and scheming everybody